Hello, hello, welcome to TurboTuff And here we are on another iRacing video Episode 4 to be specifically Here we are, GT3 fixed at Lime Lineroad, uh, Lime well, not Lineroad, Summit Point Raceway Sorry for that uh, This track is not made for these cars It's not made for this type of racing uh, You can barely fit two of them at any point uh, during the race So yeah Racing here was pretty entertaining, uh, we didn't get the results we wanted, I mean, I'm, I'm missing practice. I have the pace, I have the skill, I have the racecraft, but I'm not there yet uh, when it comes to track knowledge and actually knowing when I can push and when I should be a little bit more conservative. So yeah, not the results we wanted. Anyway, uh, during my first race, the only thing slower than my car was my internet connection. Uh, throughout the race, cars blinked a lot. I had plenty of issues with that. Uh, here we went through turn one. Uh, turn one is actually a pretty interesting corner as you, you defend from the outside uh, because you have a little bit more runoff and you're able to carry much more speed than through the inside. As it is a pretty tight turn. So we are starting P15, I believe. Uh, we, we are being trailed by that Beamer and following the Lamborghini in front. We have a decent pace. I, my goal was to obtain a top 10. And I think it was doable. Uh, anyways, chaos at summit point. Here this Ferrari spun and I had to break and yield the position to the BMW. The Merc tried to go uh, through, through us but I mean, there is no chance you do a 3 wide and get out alive. So... We finished the first lap, there you see that poor Beamer in the gravel trap. And we carry a lot more speed than the Beamer and the Lamborghini uh, in front of us. So we go down the main straight, which is extremely long. And I try to outbreak, the, to outbreak that car through the outside, but I'm not able to do a good job, or well. I mean, it wasn't my fault, <laughs> as you'll see here. I'll show you in the replay. Uh, we were with side by side, going to wide into turn one. And he clips the curb and goes into me. So yeah, not much I can do there. My car was driving straight and, uh, you know, a positive thing about this situation was that the Lamborghini yielded uh, the positions uh, here. He uh, lets me go. And he apologized for that mistake. And I respect that a lot. I think, uh, you know, acknowledging that and saying, hey, my bad. That's something I appreciate, especially in a service like I racing. This Beamer, well, he's gone. He's gone, you know? Uh, that last corner is extremely uh, confusing. As you can carry a lot more speed than you think, you have a decent amount of runoff, but the terrain is not, you know, stable. Uh, there is a lot of, like, asphalt and concrete. And if you go a little wide, you lose it. There is no chance at... Overall, maybe you'll be able to keep it on track because you have a straight after that. But I mean, it is an extremely dangerous corner and you should be careful with your speed. Here that Ferrari was blinking and the cars were blinking. This uh, Turner Motorsport BMW uh, was stopped at the front. So I had to go off to take the track because I preferred that to more damage to my car. Uh, so yeah, not the results we wanted was once again uh, that turn, like the, the second turn, uh, that consecutive set of third year uh, corners. It's pretty fun. You can actually carry a lot of speed and if you're careful of not overshooting the curbs, you'll definitely be able to position your, yourself in a place where you can do some moves into the next uh, couple of tight turns and into the last sector of the track. I hear that Ford uh, lost that position and we're on P11, so we just needed one more car to either spin or crash or something so that we can get that top 10 that we've been fighting for. And a car did make a mistake. Uh, the only thing that I didn't take into account was that that car was mine. As I said, the last turn, extremely dangerous, and this is the second to last lap. And I'm able to almost keep it on track. 
uh, we hit the wall, the tires. Uh, the car is in good shape, uh, no suspension damage, so we were able to keep it going. But I mean, it was pretty disappointing. Uh, the tires were wrecked, the car didn't have any downforce. That's race over, well, not race over, but uh, actually any chance uh, uh, for us getting into the top 10, you know, there was no possibility. So yeah, that's the first race. And uh, as I had a lot of things with uni, I, on I was only able to do one more race. Also, I'm working on another video, I'll talk about it in the end. Uh, here we are starting P4, uh, we position ourselves pretty good, that Lamborghini takes uh, our place. She had the inside line, you know. Uh, they usually have an advantage if you're starting from an odd position. The leader, uh, here you can see him overshooting turn one. Typical mistake. Everyone can. Uh, everyone is under that danger of overshooting the corner, especially in cold tires. Uh, so, yeah, second race. It wasn't that uh, action packed, let's say. While I was able to definitely close the gap to that BMW in front, uh, thanks to draft and top speed. Uh, there was basically no room to do any, any moves. I could either dive bomb him, but that's not my style. I prefer to keep my car intact and, you know, race clean. If I had the pace, I know I was going to be able to make a move sooner or later. But for now, I for that moment, I prefer to stay in the back. Uh, you know, before, decent position. I believe the Lamborghini... The Lamborghini uh, who started on P5 was now leading the race, so good for him. Those Lambos ha have a lot of pace on every track. They are OP, really. So yeah, this is the second to last lap, I believe, or one of the last lap. Here you see the BMW in front trying to cut the toe, but I I stay within, a, within that range of half a second, maybe one second at the most. So yeah, we are pretty good positioned. If we're able to cut the gap to around three tenths down the straight, I, I knew we were able to make a move. Uh, the, those corners, those consecutive uh, left and, and right turns on third gear, they're pretty fun. You get actually really close to the gravel trap. You have to be careful with that. And here you use a lot of trail braking. As there are low speed corners when you try to, you know, uh, use that uh, spin angle, or well, a flip angle, sorry, that's the name of the technique, to carry as much speed as possible. Sadly, I carried way too much speed, ended up under steering, and here we crash. We literally go into a tree, uh, thank god the <laughs> trees weren't modeled there, so we didn't take any damage from them, but we actually took a lot of suspension and aero damage from the hill and we lose many, many positions. We were on P4, now we are on P11. Once again, P11. We are, well, I, I feel cursed <laughs> at this point. So, yeah. Once again, <laughs> a less than ideal race. My car had a lot of damage uh, to the front. I was not able to turn right uh, in a comfortable way where the car was stable. So, even though I was closing in to that Porsche, I had much, much more pace than him. Uh, there wasn't any chance to get into the top 10. And that's pretty much it for the week. Uh, what I feel I have to improve is consistency. And the only way to do that, the only way to prevent the mistakes I did in, uh, throughout this weekend, is to practice. To practice a lot, to practice much more than I currently um, uh, so yeah, not what I wanted. Next week we have Charlotte, and that will be the last GT3 race of the season. After that, I'll be racing some GT3 Cup and maybe some IndyCar, we'll have to see. And that would be it for this video, you know, uh, I feel, I have the skill, I have what is needed to get into the next level of I rating, but we're not that here. We're not there yet. 
uh, here I am on 1600 uh, two weeks ago I was on 18 to 1900 so that's definitely quite the loss but I mean it is what it is we'll try to get better at it uh, on Thursday there will be an Art of Rally video about the new update the Kenya update uh, so you may want to stay tuned for, uh, for that and I hope you have a great day I hope to see you on track and well, bye bye.